Welcome students, welcome to the zoology wala and today uh, I am going to explain you the types of teeth. In the last class I explained you about the structure of digestive system introduction and now we are going to see <coughs> the types of uh, teeth in human being. So in human being basically how many types of uh, teeth are present? Four types of teeth are present in human beings, is not it? Four types, among those four types the first one comes under incisors, incisors which are represented with I, incisors. What do you mean by the incisors? Incisors are the teeth which are present in the front side, useful for cutting the food material. Generally they are in the shape of a chisel. you know the instrument which is like this and useful to sharp the wood, wood items especially and the incisors are the food are the teeth which are useful for cutting the food materials okay and the second one is canine C A N I N E S canines which are represented with uh, C canines are useful for tearing the food material and shredding the food material for example if you put one you know non veg item some leg piece uh, here you will tear the food material you will uh, tear the food material by keeping the food here it means uh, the canines are useful for tearing or shredding the food material s h r e d shredding the food material and incisors are useful for cutting the food material and the third one premolars premolars which are represented with pm and fourth one molars. See premolars and molars, molars are represented with M, these are commonly called cheek, cheek teeth and these are useful for grinding the food material. So that is the reason why these two premolars and molars are called grinders, why because they are useful for chewing the food material and they are present inside the cheeks, is not it? That is the reason why they are also called cheek teeth and canines are a dagger, dagger are nothing but dagger, it is nothing but knife. See, you can see the teeth here, incisors which are represented here and the second one is canine. Let me show you with a different color like this. See this one, here you can see the incisors, these two and this one is canine. You can see only the upper portion, the visible portion, this is called crown and the next portion is neck and the third one is root. Roots are embedded in the sockets of jawbone. I will tell you, first of all the visible portion of the tooth, the tooth singular, teeth plural and uh, teeth are not bones, okay. Canines, you can see the premolars here and these three are molars. This is the diagram which was given in the NCRT and the same diagram may be asked in the examination also, diagram oriented questions may be there in that you may ask you to find out uh, the correct uh, labeling of the given diagram and here you can see the sockets sockets of the jawbone and the jawbone maxilla upper jaw and mandible lower jaw. The mandible is an U shaped bone which is very strong facial bone among the 14 facial bones and maxilla here one maxilla here one maxilla fused to form maxillae and maxillae contains the sockets uh, over which the teeth are embedded. Teeth are fixed in the sockets of jawbone that is the reason why in human being the type of dentition is thecodont. Thecodont dentition is seen in uh, mammals and if you want to have any other example reptiles, in reptiles especially in crocodile thecodont teeth are present of course that is an exception and in case of birds, the living birds will not have any teeth. There is one group of extant, extinct birds where you can see the teeth in beaks, vodontognathe, in those extinct birds uh, beak inside the big teeth are present and thecodon in case of mammals the teeth are fixed in the sockets of uh, jawbone and premolars, molars, canines, incisors. Among these as I said if you observe the typical tooth uh, it contains the three portions, the visible portion is nothing but the crown and the neck followed by the root which completely fixes in uh, the sockets of uh, the jawbone. If you observe the premolars, premolars are the teeth uh, which are useful for chewing and how many roots are present for the premolars. In generally 
single root is present for premolar, but upper first premolar contains two roots. So, here you can see upper first premolar contains two roots, upper first premolar contains two roots. Generally, premolars are also called bicuspids, why because two cusps are present, cusp is nothing but the depression present over the tooth and here premolars that is the reason why they are also called bicuspids, okay. So, premolars are nothing but the bicuspids, upper first premolar has two roots. Let us come to the molars and how many roots and how many cusps are present for molars. As I said, molars are the grinding teeth which are present in the jaw bone. Just you take one screenshot, I will tell about the molars, okay. Take one screenshot, okay. And now molars, upper molars have three roots, whereas lower molars have two roots, okay. Upper molars have three roots, whereas lower molars and simply I will represent here, the lower molars have, lower molars have two roots, A very important point, okay. So, that is all about uh, the molars and premolars. Hope so, it is clear. If we observe uh, the adult, how many teeth are present in the adult? That is the next point what we have to discuss. Generally, teeth are represented with the dental formula. What do you mean by the dental formula? Dental formula is nothing but half of teeth present in upper jaw by half of teeth present in lower jaw. Hope so, this diagram is clear. It is very important in uh, the examination point of view. So, dental formula means half of teeth present in upper jaw by half of teeth present in lower jaw. For example, incisors, how many incisors are present, how many canines, how many premolars and similarly how many molars. The typical dental formula of adult human being is 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 like this. So, here 2, 1, 2, 3 represented incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Incisors are represented two incisors are present in upper jaw here and one canine is present and two premolars are present and three molars are present like that three plus two five plus one six plus two eight. So, half of upper jaw contains eight and half of the lower jaw same similar to the upper jaw here also eight. So, eight by eight one one point zero is answer it is not like that eight teeth present here eight teeth present here one upper jaw contains eight obviously here another eight lower jaw contains 8, obviously here 8. So, total here 18 and here 18, 16, 16 into 2, 32 teeth are present in case of adults. Adults generally after crossing on an average of 17 years, the third molar appears a bit later. It means after crossing 17 years of age. So, after crossing 17 years of age, the third molar may generally erupt. But in some, what happens, the jaw space is not that much sufficient in order to accommodate the third molar. That is the reason why some person's face is uh, so much pain while the third molar is erupting. Why? Because the jaw space is not able to accommodate the third molar. That is the reason why there may be a chance of having pain in eruption in some persons. And in some persons, what happens, the third molar may not erupt also so, bit, so much early. And the third molar is often considered as wisdom teeth and the third molars are nothing but the vestigial teeth. Why? Because they are not going to play a crucial role in uh, chewing. So, the third molar or wisdom teeth uh, can be considered as vestigial organs in case of human beings. And this is the dental formula of adults. For example, if you observe uh, the children, how many teeth are present in case of uh, children? Half of here, the dental formula is represented a bit differently. I mean to say the same dental formula, half of the teeth present in upper jaw by half of teeth present in lower jaw. But here, the dental formula is represented as 2, 1, 0, 2. 
2 by 2, 1 by 1, 0 by 0, 2 by 2. Incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Incisors as usual here see 2, canines here 1 and here also 1. There is no difference in case of incisors and canines in case of adults and infants. But here see here see the premolars, premolars are not present in case of uh, children. But the molars, you see the molars and here two molars are only present. I mean to say here premolars are not represented but here premolars are represented. I mean clear? What about the dental formula here? What about the uh, total number of teeth? 2 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 5 by 5. It means 5 in upper jaw, 5 in lower jaw, 5 plus 5, 10, 10 into 2, 20, 20. These are the teeth present in uh, children. So this is uh, this set is called milk set and this is permanent set. Milk set is replaced by the permanent set. In case of human being, the milk set, the milk teeth generally they will slough off, they will drop and those teeth are also called deciduous teeth. This deciduous teeth are replaced by permanent teeth. Deciduous teeth means the number will be around 20 and here adult set after crossing 17 years of age, if you consider the third molar also the number will become 32. So how many times the teeth are replaced in case of human beings? In case of human beings, of course he comes under mammal, how many times the teeth shows the regeneration? In generally, we have seen two types of teeth. First time produced teeth are milk set, second time produced teeth are permanent set. So two generations of teeth are observed, that is the reason why human being comes under uh, deciduous teeth replaced by permanent teeth. So human being comes under you know, what type of dentition? How many generations of teeth? Two generations of teeth are seen diffeodont dentition D I P H Y O D O N T diffeodont dentition. What do you mean by diffeodont or diffeodont dentition? Means uh, two generations of uh, two generations of uh, teeth are seen, it means tooth are replaced or teeth are replaced only once, teeth are replaced only once in lifetime. That is the reason why in human beings we can use the word diphyodon dentition and just now I mentioned thicodon dentition means teeth are fixed in uh, the sockets of uh, jaw bone, thicodon means teeth fixed in sockets, sockets of uh, jaw bone, okay. Thicodont teeth are very strong opposite to the acrodont. You know in case of acrodont dentition, the teeth are not fixed in the sockets of jaw bone, just they are attached at the edge, edge of jaw bone. So there is more probability of uh, losing, the, losing the teeth uh, very frequently. Uh, the condition which is not seen in thicodon dentition, but in case of acrodon dentition generally present in fish, uh, teeth replaced for number of times, why because then the teeth are also not completely fixed in the sockets of uh, jaw bone. So in case of human beings, diphyodon dentition is observed and you know monophyodon dentition, in case of the diphyodon dentition, two generations of teeth are seen, in case of monophyodon dentition, only one generation of uh, teeth generally observed and seen in some type of whales where only one only teeth observed once in their lifetime and if at all there is any damage the teeth are not going to be replaced okay and opposite to all this polyphyodon dentition teeth replaced for number of times in case of polyphyodon dentition you find out the example for it i will tell in my next video and these are the types of teeth in addition to that there are different types of teeth are seen in case of animals like lophodont bunodont brachydont Cicodon, solenodon, different types of teeth are seen that I am going to explain in my next video. That's all about this video. Thank you.